Hello, I'm Graham Tideman and along with my colleagues from Guys and St Thomas's Hospital, we've developed in collaboration with Adam Rooley, Amnio Abbey. Amnio Abbey is an amniocentesis simulator, but more than that. It simulates all situations of ultrasound guided invasive procedures in pregnancy. We used to do thousands of amniocentesis and it was fairly easy to teach in those days. It's usually a simple procedure a lot of the time. But with improved screening and the onset of NIPT, the numbers of amniocentesis is dropping dramatically. However, there's still a real need for ultrasound guided invasive procedures, not just as corroboration of NIPT, but also for intrafetal procedures, cordocentesis and other techniques. Some of these may even rise in the future with the advent of gene technology. So the workforce we have now, the obstetricians like me doing it for years, have got a large experience in amniocentesis and are confident placing a needle tip exactly where we need it to. But as amniocentesis numbers dropped, which was our backbone of training, it's becoming increasingly difficult to not only train for this procedure but for the more complicated ones. Amnio Abbey will allow the trainees, obstetricians and fetal medicine specialists to hone their skills and enable them to put a needle exactly where they need to and perform procedures safely well into the future. So this is the amniotic sac of Amnio Abbey which produces a very lifelike image. Inside there is a fetal shape, 15 week size. The like volume can be altered. In this case I'm going to get all of the air out and then add some more water to give me the appearance of an easier amniocentesis or conversely I can withdraw water and make a much more challenging amniocentesis as if there was oligohydramnios. We've aimed to make Amnio Abbey as lifelike as possible so in addition to altering the amount of lica the placenta can be placed laterally, anteriorly or even posteriorly and this can be for two reasons. Partly it can make an amniocentesis more challenging trying to avoid or having to perform a transplacental approach and of course for CVS. You can also alter the amount of abdominal wall. In this case a woman of normal BMI using a single layer and recreating the experience of trying to perform any of the procedures through a woman of increased BMI with the second abdominal layer. I'm just going to scan, I can see the fetus, I can see the abdominal wall and I can see a nice puddle of lica to aim for. So having marked the spot I'm going to remove the cleaning gel, the lubricant gel to provide a sterile area. And I always do an amniocentesis with an assistant, I know many people don't. It just particularly for the more difficult procedures, it makes it easier to avoid that transmitted shake through to the needle tip. So that's the needle going in, we can just see the tip there. So we're in a nice pocket and I now let go completely while Isabel connects the tubing up and we use a short length of tubing that contains just two mils and we harvest that two mils at the end simply so that there's no shake between me and Isabel. So I take that back, we watch the needle at all times. Oh, you should have been, yeah and you can just see the tip is well clear there and I don't look at all at what's going on now and Isabel tells me when we've taken our sample. Isabel applies a tiny bit of positive pressure to stop us sucking up maternal sample into there and contaminating it and there we finish. Now using Amnio Abbey we're going to simulate a CVS, a chorionic villus sample procedure. Here's the placenta which you can put in any position you like Obviously anterior ones are much easier than posterior ones, but for this purpose I'm going to put it laterally, just to demonstrate. We're using a single abdominal layer, again you can make it more difficult by having more layers. And then on scan here we can see that the abdominal wall is here and the placenta edge is there. So I'm just going to spend a moment getting the placenta in view. And now taking the needle, thank you Isabel. We're just going to approach it tangentially as you would. Watch the needle get into position. And then into the placenta nicely there. 
Okay, and then Izzy, if you can attach the syringe, please. Good firm fit. Then I'm going to take this over and let go now. And taking a good biopsy. And then that's the sample there.